Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. It's four goals for Manchester City, the first time City have scored four goals and more since the Chelsea game back in November. I mean, how comfortable is it and how confident and happy are you for that result? The fact that you guys look like fluidity is back. You guys clicked in attack. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes uh, also depends on the way the, the, the teams play. I mean, the other day we wanted, I think, uh, Today we fixed quite a few things. I think we, we have more presence on the area, more players. I mean, in football, if you, if you want to score, you have to put players on the box. And today we did it. Uh, even myself, I came in, in the second line in the box. Uh, it's the way it is, football. You have to score in that part. And uh, I think it's something we improved from, from the Arsenal game. But uh, of course, it's, it's not easy when you, you face like six in the back like the other day. And today, uh, big credit for them because it's a, it's a team that they beat a great play, a great teams this season, uh, so it was not, wasn't easy. Phil obviously scored the three goals, got man of the match. I gave you man of the match. <laughs> Thank you. How, how much better do you think you can get? Because me and Stan are watching, you're always available, very rarely give the ball away, you're defending one box, you're attacking the next box, scoring goals. Do you, how are you going to improve on your game at the moment? Well, I would say uh, it's, it's something uh, natural of me. I always uh, focus on, on where aspects on the game I can, I can improve. And uh, I, I always said I, I enjoy watching my, my game after the uh, when, when it's finished and analyze, you know, because it's, it's better when you're at home, calm and see, OK, you can improve in here, you can improve in that. And it's something in, in my mind. Uh, I think uh, right now, you can see the, the improvement in the last third. I think it was, I was a very, you know, horizontal player and yeah. just a classic midfielder. And now I, I appear more in, in the last third than in this team is able to do it because we, we kind of dropped the teams in the last third. And is, is that from you or is that part of Pep encouraging you to, to do that? Yeah, I mean, it's something natural on the player and the man I encourage you to do it. And also in the team you play, is more, you are more able. It's not the same when you play with, you know, more a contra-attack team than, than in, in Man City. So uh, it's something that, yeah, I've been focusing. Well, you talk about that final third before we jump to Stan's question, actually, because he set me up just perfectly there. I want to look at your goal, actually. We're going to click play here. Can you just talk us through what was going on here and the way that your teammates set you up for this goal? Well, as I said, this, uh, the, the, the aim of the game was trying to put more players in between the lines uh, because we, we need more presence. And here, Phil, as you can say, I said to Jeremy in, in, the, in the action that uh, today we don't have Erling, so put the ball in the floor, put the ball strong in the floor. Uh, and I said it before the game, and yeah, I think I, I read it very well, the, the fact he, he made the run. Uh, and yeah, people that arrive in the second line is, is difficult to mark, you know, because they, you're more focused on on the strikers and yeah, it was a, it was a great pass, I think. Rodri, well done today. Thank I you. mean, it was a great admiration to watch you. I mean, we, <laughs> we both, was, we just see where you, you have a cigar today because you <laughs> were just flawless. I want to ask you, how important is the manager to see a reaction after the Arsenal uh, game today? Well, it's, it's very important in the fact that uh, sometimes you expect that today he make like kind of reaction, but for me, the most important speech is after the Arsenal game, when you don't want the result you want and all these kind of things. In that moment, he's like, guys, you were willing. Uh, we have to fix some stuff, but uh, let's believe. And this is something that for a player is like the, makes you feel like, yeah, let's go, let's move on. And today, yeah, it was a, I think the, the team was fresh, I uh, think, in, in, in the way we play. Uh, and I hope uh, we, can, we can still this way. Can I just uh, get, ask a last question before we let you go, because I think you have other commitments. Can I ask about Phil Foden from your eyes? You set him up for his second goal here today. Yeah. How much he has grown this season as well? I mean, his goal tallies this season, 21 goals in all competitions, 11 assists, if I'm not mistaken. How impressed have you been with his, his development this season? Well, to be fair, I know Phil from, from the day one I, I came to City. I, I know the talent he has. I know the desire he has. He's a... He's a very good boy. He wants to listen. He wants to improve. He's in the perfect team. Uh, in my opinion, he's one of the greatest in, in that middle part of the last third turning. And I don't see many players uh, with his quality. He can score in the box, out the box, left, right. He can dribble. He can, 
he can do quite everything. There's not many players he can do that. You've got quite a good team, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's why that's why <laughs> that's why I trust my team until the end. Uh, sometimes uh, I understand that people talk uh, about other teams and but what we've shown the last year. So I think we, we deserve uh, credit and respect, oh, and definitely. and they're yeah. still we're still the, the best version of ourselves. Well, def Perfect. speaking of credit and respect, congratulations once Thank again. We do much. have to let you go. To